Hello everyone and welcome. So here is my update on this kit for the flanker build that was started by uh, stevethefish.net aka Greg and of course this is my entry into that build and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I've done so far. Uh, yeah, I am including some photo etch on this so I'll go through it with you guys here. So basically what I've done so far is the cockpit and you can kind of see there the photo etched controls and instruments and all that stuff on there. I still have to of course detail paint it but they're on there and of course on the Ejection seats, to ejection seats as well. I got these two pieces there. And, uh, oh man, why is it every time I have to deal with focusing issues? Man. All right. So, anyways, come on, focus. Can you focus for me? There we go. So as you can see there, and of course I don't have a pointer. Hold on a second. All right, so as I was saying, so I added these parts here, two separate parts. I'm not sure what they're for. And the uh, ejection seat handle there on both of them and this part right there to the seats. Now, as you'll see over here, it calls out for more parts, but the seat's good enough that I didn't want to add the straps and all that stuff to the seat itself and the side controls. Because first of all, you got to cut all this off. And if I can show you here in the seat, if I can get it to focus, come on, come on, baby. Oh, every time. The There you go. The detail is pretty decent. And you won't be able to see it really. So I just left that as is. And you can see the buckles and straps. It's good enough. So I left it like that. And of course, where are they? Oh, here we go. Instrument panels. This one was... Uh, quite a challenge to make but got it done so I just need to add these um, <clears throat> instrument dial uh, sheet to the plastic part for the kit and then put this over that so I'm gonna see if I can do that tonight and um, yeah for this part here I think this is a co-pilot's no, no, pilots, my bad. Uh, let me see, oh yeah. A lot of parts to that one. See, it's right there. All these little pieces had to go on for that. That was challenging, considering that, uh, I think this is like the first time I've actually done something with Photo Edge. And of course, that's for the dials and whatnot, buttons, switches and stuff on the cockpit part <laughs> where the seats going on it. So, and then of course these parts right here are for the canopy. Oh, these parts, these broke off a couple times. One of those, I think. One of these, those were really fragile. Oof, terrible. But got them on there, as you see right there. If I can turn it around here real quick. It was a challenge. That was a separate piece. And all these, but I got it in there. I do have to, uh, small, 
issue with the super glue. If I can get it to focus. Yeah, I gotta see if I can fix that right there. Buff it out or something. Oh, what's that? Oh, and that too, I guess, now too. Dang it. So, see if I can buff those out from the inside. If not, I guess I'll just have to live with it. But they <clears throat> had a molding line here right in the center. So, sanded it out and buffed it, and it's good to go now. Same thing with the front windscreen. Also had a molded line in the middle. Buffed it out, so it's all good. Uh, let's see what else. So I got that so far, and of course, on the frame itself, got that piece right there. And real quick, you can see the fine resist panel lining on the kit. Really nice. Really good kit. If it would focus, of course. There you go. It had these uh, ejection pin marks there on either side and on the bottom, so I had to cut those off. Really weird. And uh, <clears throat> sanded them smooth. Same thing on the bottom over here. Right there. Ah. Come on. Okay, so there you go. And you can see that one there, that one there, and right there, right there. <clears throat> so once I get the cockpit done, I probably might have to do some uh, adjustment in there to get it to fit right. I did have to cut off the sunscreen there for the instrument panel for the pilot as it shows you to do so let me see where the instructions are here uh... where 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 oh yeah right here so it has you cut that part off since that part is basically this right here oh man oh this part right here so we'll see how that fits. <clears throat> and next, once I'm done with this, uh, probably in the next video, I'll be done with um, air intakes here. And of course, I'm going to be using the photo edge for that. Oh, this is going to be tough because I have to fold these down, these little parts there. Same thing with these area here like so and then put all these little individual veins on there and then fix it up to the to the air intake pieces right here I already started on these I just put these pieces there on each one so now I have to do the photo edge for this and see how that goes and one other piece that I did here for the turbine blades I um, drilled out the middle area here and uh, to make the blades a little more detailed so we'll see how that looks once uh, I attach them to the intakes and paint it all up give it a little more depth I guess We'll see how that goes. I did it for both of them, so that was painstaking. So yeah, that's that's where I'm at right now with this kit. Uh, but it's a really good kit. It's really nice. I mean, of course, the kit came like this, and you can see hardly any seam lines there. I mean, once I glue it, of course. So I'm curious to see how that's going to turn out. All right, so that's it for this update. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.